Janela Mashad. I'm Janela Queens Park. As we told you earlier in the show, workers here calling for a minimum wage to be increased to $15 an hour. Now, the rate did go up in Ontario today to $11.40, but we're learning that there are many in this province who are still earning well below that. Tell me a little bit about your outfit today and why you wanted to come dressed like this. Um, because um, we migrant workers or all these low-wage workers, farm workers, caregivers, are treated as robots, as machines, and they tend to forget that we should be treated as human beings. One of the reasons why we're here today is also to make sure that we have rules that protect everyone, and that if we have a minimum wage, that everyone gets access to it. So migrant workers, migrant farm workers, for instance, are exempt from even getting the minimum wage. When you do the math, how much are you earning per hour? If, if minimum wage is 11.25 or 11.40 now, um, it would be half the amount. You're earning less than half as a caregiver. Yes. It is pretty disappointing because we see Canada and Ontario as a very fair a uh, country for employment and also for um, workers. Um, but then when you are already in the field and working, you realize that um, employers treat you unfair and like the Ontario labor laws allow that to happen. Students have a lower minimum wage. Liquor servers only make $9.90 per hour. And so what we're calling for is that there be one rate for everyone and that everyone has the floor of protection. The minimum wage also went up for liquor servers. They're now earning $9.80, up from $9.55 an hour. And minimum wage for student workers also went up to $10.55 from $10.30. At Queen's Park, Janela Massa, City News.